Hello and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video we'll continue looking at tax return production, this time creating a self-assessment tax return. We'll show you how to create a new SA100 return for a client, first using simple step mode and then we'll briefly look at HMRC forms mode. We'll also show you how to access the final summaries, check and finish the return to validate the entries and then print the pages. Let's open Tax Return Production. Here's the client we wish to work on. We'll create a new return for 2020 using the default options. It's important to note that you always use New Return and not Import Return. Only use the Import button if you're importing a tax count file from the file system. Click the Create button. Having created the return, we can open it. Let's open the 5th of April 2020 return and get started. There are two options here, Simple Step or HMRC Forms. Simple Step is our unique and innovative questionnaire guide through the return, whilst HMRC Forms looks like a tax return on screen. We recommend starting with Simple Step and see how you get on. We're ready to begin the return. You may have noticed this option, Fetch Taxpayer Data. This is the HMRC API that we can use to fetch taxpayer information. To follow this process, you'll need to authorize yourself as the agent to receive and action changes to this information. As this is a test system, we can't show you a live client. Here you will see a list of information that can be collected from HMRC's system. The data TaxCalc receives from HMRC will be displayed in bold on the left-hand side where present. You simply import this information for a client into the return. The data fetched within the tax return can be identified by the box being green, with the HMRC logo alongside. It is recommended that you check the data received from HMRC against documentation provided to you before submitting the tax return. As this is still in an open public beta, checking this data with your client prior to submission is imperative. Carry on by clicking Next Step and follow the instructions on the screen. Information such as the address is automatically taken from Practice Manager. Then you come to a set of questions titled Your Work. What did your client do? What was their main source of income? Were they employed or self-employed? A director? Were they in a partnership? Etc. Boxes are already ticked here. The software will carry forward the schedules from the prior period. In this instance, the client is both employed and self-employed. Click Next Step and we come to the employment section. It takes us to this area because we ticked that option at the start of the return. We can enter a salary, add some tax already deducted, go through benefits, mileage claims, add an additional employment and so on. It's all there. Simply follow the instructions and tick the boxes you need. After we enter the employment data, the software only takes us to the relevant sections. We haven't seen pages such as Minister of Religion or the Parliamentary pages because we didn't tick those boxes at the start of the return. These can still be accessed from the left-hand menu if required. Data can be imported from accounts production if sole trader accounts were prepared in the software. Third-party application data can be imported from the clipboard or an SNF file. We're currently in simple step mode. If we switch into HMRC Forms mode, it looks like a tax return on screen. If you prefer, you can fill out the return using this method instead. We can see the data has come across from accounts production. Back in Simple Step, the software asks other questions around other income. You'll see there are dividends, savings investments and UK property in this return. It's all set up for us, but if there's a new source of income, you can tick the box and enter it. Alternatively you can navigate to the relevant page and enter an amount in there. This automatically adds a tick to the relevant question. In future, those pages will be viewed as you go through Simple Step. We added this flexibility so you can work either way. The software carries forward the schedules for tax interest from UK bank accounts. We can simply update the new interest amount. All the schedules are recorded and can be printed at the end. TaxCalc has all the supplementary pages, non-resident, capital gains, everything you're most likely to need, so you can manage all circumstances for your clients. Now we're ready, click on Check and Finish and finalise the tax return. 
Any prominent errors that could affect online filing are highlighted. We can see a business description error. All you have to do is simply go in and resolve it. The green messages are for your consideration and won't affect online filing. Here it shows that we've elected to complete the property pages but haven't entered anything. By clicking on these links, you'll be redirected to some information here about payments on account and the way UK bank interest is now taxed. Just follow the instructions. One great feature of TaxCalc is its summaries. It produces beautifully laid out supporting schedules for clients, such as the SA302 and Tax Payment Repayment Summary. Do have a look through these. If there are schedules required that are more relevant to the client's income, such as employment and or self-employment, we can click into those here. Finally, the product comes with a number of tax tips and planning, helping you make the most of your client's allowances for the tax year ahead. We recommend creating a single file of the attachments as a PDF. A useful option is to include the wizards that have been used. Tick those options and it will attach the wizards used in the return. There we go, we're creating the PDF return now. Here it is, a filled in copy of the return. There is a cover page for the client to sign, then the tax return itself. If we go to the end, we can see the supplementary pages attached. Then we have our tax calc summaries. Lots of information ready to go to the client. There are options for locking, mail, save and print here. If we're happy with that, go back to check and finish. Once we have client approval, we can file online through here. TaxCalc has a feature called Test File, which we recommend you use initially before sending to the client for approval. Test File allows you to run the same validations as a live submission apart from your filing credentials and gives you a mock filing response. This tells you if the return would go through in live conditions. It's useful to send a test file before raising the client copy, as there could be an issue when coming to file. Once you receive approval from your client, you can come back to this screen for online filing. If there's an issue, you'll have to regenerate the return, which generates a new IR mark. This means the client would have to sign it again, which complicates the process. The software updates the information back into Practice Manager. See how it automatically updated the tax status to Filed Online when we sent the return to HMRC. When we run our reports, we see the report has been updated with that information. Please see the other videos in the series for looking at the report management. That's been a brief look at self-assessment. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.